Water covers 71% of the Earth's surface, a clean, renewable, reliable source of electricity. Most hydropower is generated from dams built on rivers and streams. The water is channeled down gigantic concrete tubes towards the generators. Here, the torrent of water hits the turbines and makes them spin. This motion is in turn transferred to the rotor of the generator. This is fitted with massive magnets, which move past copper coils in the casing to generate electricity. Just one of these machines makes as much electricity as a small nuclear power plant. The biggest hydroelectric installations can get a 95% efficiency, and the smaller ones can still hit 85. These dams manage the river's resources to provide hydroelectric generation, navigation, recreation, and incidental irrigation to the Northwest United States. Dams, most of which were built before the 1960s here in the US, can disrupt river ecosystems. They are, in my judgment, largely responsible for the destruction the salmon runs uh, that we used to see all the way up into the Rocky Mountains. Anything that blocks a river, like a dam does, limit their access to part of the world that they need to complete their life cycle. The Corps of Engineers assists local tribes and nations in numerous salmon habitat restoration projects along the Snake to ensure the survival of the endangered species. The Pacific Northwest right now according to the Oregonian newspaper, spends a billion dollars a year on salmon recovery. The Department of Energy says 70% of Washington state's electricity comes from hydropower, and 11 states get more than 10% of their electricity also from hydro. The thing is, only 3% of the 80,000 dams in the United States generate electricity. And even if they do, dams inevitably alter thousands of square miles of waterways in both directions. The Southwest is an arid area. And without a dam like Hoover Dam to control the flow of the river and make the water available uh, when it's needed, uh, we just couldn't have the level of economic development that we have in the Southwest today.